and I've just duplicated it again and just put it here. Now, what I've done is you may be able to see it. I've added mist. You can sort of see it ish. Yeah, if you press FX, it animates everything so it's what it's going to look like in the game. Now, what I've done, I've added this mist all through the bottom layer till the bottom of the stairs in this level. And that in itself gives a bit more ambience here, makes it a bit more eerie, makes it a bit more spooky, uh, and uh, adds more ambience to the level, which is what we want. Now, you can find this mist just clicking all there and I'm gonna just type in mist and it's these ones the FX am sorry FX mist um, any you can choose any of them play about with them how you wish um, yeah you know just um, trial and error really we can also actually whilst I'm here add a light beam these are quite funky uh, pieces of um, light beam mist do, do, do. what do I want what do I want wet mist see if that will do anything see that, that's what a light beam will do I think that, that that's for um, some dungeons have holes in the top of them which got to landscape and they use these in them obviously I can't use that there but there's um, other ones we can use smoke smoke wisps uh -huh -huh. Let's see what that does let's raise it up there you go added a bit of smoke you know you can add this to whatever what I might do actually is add some smoke to those fires um, do, 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 do. if I can remember which one it is ah yes this is the one you need the FX smoke large close just drag that and drop it on yes to all Obviously, it's going in a diagonal direction, so just press W and click on this one just to make it sort of go up ish. Oh, I just need to edit it a little bit. Ooh, very sensitive. I'll just drag it up a little bit there. And then just go ahead and duplicate it and move it over. Oh no, that's not quite aligned. There we go. You'll find bits and pieces. Ideally, what you need to do once you've done quite a lot of mod uh, adding and modding in here, you just need to hop in in game and see if everything's all right. Because sometimes the creation kit doesn't show some errors that are only showing game. It's don't ask me why it does that. But there you go. And there you go, we've added uh, ambience, light, and effects. In the next tutorial, I'm quickly going to go over locations and encounter zones, and then after that, I'm going to do nav meshing, which uh, may take some time. Um, a bit daunting at first, but yes, but fine, really fine. So what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to hop in game and uh, see what it looks like. Ooh. Make sure all these boxes always close before um, you save. So uh, yes, yeah, so I'll see you in game in a, in a couple of seconds. Now I'm in game, I'm going to show you how to um well I'll show you sorry how what what we've done thus far 
looks like. So open up console, just type in COC AAA test dungeon. What I forgot to mention uh, in the ambience part was um, you saw those green bulb things with the sea above them. That's for critters. Um, what I've done is added a, f a few fireflies and to do that all you need to do is in the object window box in the search filter is type in critters and it will come up with some critters and insects and you can just drag and drop them in where you see fit. As you can see the ambience lighting has already made a massive difference and you can also hear the music as well. So I'm just going to go through And as you can see, there's a mist. There are the critters. The lighting looks awesome. This has highlighted all the weapons here. Added a few candles here. As you can see, already a vast, a massive improvement. I've added some more fireflies up there and generally the dungeon actually looks quite attractive now and looks far better than it did before any lighting or ambience was involved um, so yeah this is uh, the dungeon in its awesome sore state at the moment now we can still add more ambient lighting, uh, not ambient lighting, uh, mist sorry and more ambience and FX if you want to make it truly amazing um, obviously I've yet to add a few more things, I'm going to add water which will just add a little bit more excellence to this dungeon um, possibly a waterfall as well um, but yes this is uh, the work done thusly um, so this has been my fifth tutorial in my series. I've still got a few more to go before the dungeon is fully playable. Um, so stick around if you've liked my tutorial series so far. Press subscribe because there's more to come. And don't forget to download if you want the test dungeon I have uploaded into onto the Nexus forum uh, database. Sorry, of which there will be a link in the description. Um, thank you again for watching and stay tuned and hope to see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.